Before this video starts, I just want to say that I have coded a Discord bot. Um, here's the bot hosting uh, site. You can view it in the description below. Please invite it to your servers. Uh, it's verified and we're still trying to grow. So uh, it's slash command moderation bot. So uh, yeah, thank you and let's get right into the video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create a prefix bot with discord.js version 14. So, as you guys know, uh, they updated from v13 to v14. With that, uh, they've updated the command handler and all of that stuff. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get your bot to turn on and, of course, how you can get your bot to actually work for uh, prefix commands because slash commands are really hard to use and they're really hard to make. Um, so without like a distinct file or something to copy, uh, nobody really wants to do that. So uh, let's just let's just go ahead and make the prefix version. So uh, the things that you're gonna need for this are Visual Studio Code and Node.js. The so links in the description uh, for both of these. Go ahead and download the recommended for users for Node.js and just download this one for Visual Studio Code. Uh, then you're gonna need to go to the developer portal, click Applications. Um, I have a lot. Just like ignore that. Uh, we'll create a new application. We'll call this. Uh, for me, I'll call it V14 tutorial bot call it that um i guess you have to agree to the terms uh so in here you can add a bunch of different stuff um you can change the name you can add a icon uh you can add an about me um but for now i'm gonna leave that blank so we're gonna go over to bot we're gonna click add bot yes do it uh so here we're gonna see a few different things so obviously you can change your name here and you can see your tag um, this is where you're going to get the tokens. You're going to have to reset that, but we'll do that in a second. First, we're going to make sure that you get all this configured. So if this bot is going to be public, like it's going to join multiple servers, you're going to want to turn this on. If not, turn it off. Um, you can leave this alone as well. Um, now these are the intents. What I would recommend doing is turn the members intent on and turn the message content intent on. You have to turn these both on. Uh, the presence intent is optional. I don't really use it. This code won't use it. Um, but I would recommend turning server members intent and message content intent on so that your bot can run on prefixes and also so that you can do like member count and server info. Obviously, if your bot gets verified, then you're going to have to apply for this. But because it's not verified, you won't have to worry about that. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and reset our token. Um, you're only going to be able to get this token once. Uh, so make sure you are careful with it. Um, if you need it again, just reset it. Um, but for me, I have 2FA, so I'm going to put that code in. All right, obviously, I'm going to reset this token after the video, but don't share this token with anyone um, because then they'll be able to access your bot and update its code and stuff. So, all right, so now go into the OAuth2 section, go into URL generator, click bot application commands administrator, and then go ahead and copy the link. Then you're going to want to paste the link in a new browser and you're just going to want to choose the server. I think I have like a bot testing. Uh, no, we can we can add it to the ASCII bot testing server. That's fine. All right. So if we go over to the server, as you can see, we have v14 tutorial bot right here. Um, it's in the server, but it's offline. So now I'm going to show you guys how you can get it on and add a test command or a ping command, whatever you want. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. You can close out of this. Um, we can go back to bot. The token's still there, but don't close out of the page. Um, all right. So now we're going to go ahead and create a new folder on the desktop. Um, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it V14 bot. Uh, let me fix that. V14, V14 bot. All right. We're going to open this up and we're going to go ahead and click in here and we're going to go ahead and click CMD. We're going to type CMD. All right. So now that the command prompt is open, what we're going to want to do is we're going to do npm i discord.js. Uh, remember, you do have to have Node.js installed for this to work, but we're going to go ahead and install Discord.js. Uh, so go ahead and do that. All right, once Discord.js is installed, we can actually go into the folder and we can refresh it and you're going to see it node modules, package and package lock. Uh, so don't worry about any of that for now. Um, we can go ahead and just move on. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do npm init. And this will open up a uh, 
like a prompt where you can fill in a bunch of stuff. I'm going to leave package name blank, version blank. You can add a description if you want. Um, entry point, leave that as index.js because our file name is going to be index.js. Um, test command, we're going to leave that blank. Repository, leave that blank, all that. You can basically leave all this blank. Um, yeah, just and then after that, just type yes. And then you're done. So now we can actually do code space dot. Now, keep in mind, all the stuff you just did is uh, you, you can edit it in here. Um, as you can see, it has the name, the version, the, the file, uh, the test command, the author, license, description, um, all that stuff. But uh, this is what it's going to look like once you're done. So uh, now we're going to go ahead and actually make a new file. So we'll click this new file button right here. And we're going to call it index. .js. All right, so now that we're in our index.js file, um, there's a couple things you should keep in mind. Um, if you did code a bot with version 13, um, the intents look a little bit different um, and the command handler looks a little bit different as well. But if you're brand new to this, uh, just, just follow along, uh, copy down all this stuff um, as best you can. And if any of it doesn't make sense or for some reason it doesn't work, join the help server in the description below. Um, but yeah, we can start. So we can go ahead and do const. Um, in here, we can do client, client, comma, gateway, intent, bits. We can do embed builder. We can do permissions, permissions, bit field, permissions. And then we can do equals require discord.js. All the errors should go away once you've done that. Um, so now we can go ahead and actually make a prefix. So we can do const prefix equals, um, and in here, um, we're going to go ahead and put any prefix you want. So most people like exclamation mark, maybe a dash, a, literally whatever you want your bot to run by. So dino is like, is like that. I'm, I'm going to go with the arrow because I think that looks good. <clears throat> we can put a semicolon there. We can go under here. We can do const. Client equals new client. We can do intents. Um, and then in here we can go gateway intent bits dot guilds, comma gateway intent bits dot guild messages. Alright, then we can do gateway intent bits dot message content. Um, and then we are actually good. So after that we can uh, put a space here, a semicolon. All right, so now that we're done with that stuff, we can actually uh, get the client.on function going. So we can do client.on, uh, we can do ready, and then we can do comma, parentheses, outside of the parentheses, we'll do an arrow function, which is an equal sign and an arrow. And then we can open this up with curly braces and we can do console.log, um, bot is online. You can customize that message. It will show up in the terminal or the console. Um, but then we can do clients, um, dot user dot set activity, act set activity. Um, and in here, this is going to be the custom status that you want to give to your bot. So, uh, for me, that's just going to be, um, subscribe to Mr. J. Awesome like that um, and then we can do type type we can call this watching you can make that watching playing competing whatever you want but I'm just gonna go with that all right so now we can add a semicolon here a semicolon here um, clean that up a little bit uh, and then we're good all right so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna make a few spaces down and we're gonna do clients.login and in here, we're going to go ahead and grab that token that we had before. So we're going to click copy or copy it from wherever you saved it to. We're going to go into Visual Studio Code. We're going to paste it, add a semicolon at the end. Um, and then we should actually be good. Okay, so one thing that I mess up is uh, delete discord.js, put backticks, and then do discord.js. <laughs> I messed that up. I don't know how I can possibly mess that up, but... Uh, we solved that problem, so now go ahead and open up the terminal and do node space dot. Um, and then it's going to say your bot is online. Alright, so once you get that message in the terminal saying your bot is online, we can open up 
the test server and we can see that the tutorial bot is online now obviously it has no commands all we did was actually turn it on uh, so now we're actually going to go ahead and create the command handler now the command handler is what runs these commands it, it basically takes the prefix and says um, whenever you see this prefix uh, run this command let's go here and we can do const client or actually no we can do client dot on message create uh, make sure you follow the capitals because that's important. We can do message, message, um, and then we can do another arrow function. We can open that up with curly braces. All right, in here, what we can do is we can do if, make sure you put an exclamation mark here, and that's important. We can do message.content.starts with, we can do prefix. Remember, we did define the prefix up here. So anytime you want to change your prefix, just change it up here. Um, <clears throat> then we can do the two lines we can do message dot author dot bot then outside of here we can do return then down here we can do const args equals message dot content dot slice prefix dot length uh, then we can do dot split and then uh, slash plus slash just like that semicolon and we can do const argument equals message dot content dot slice prefix dot length uh we can do dot split um slash plus slash just like that because sometimes in code we use args and arguments so i like to make sure we get those both in there then we can do const command equals args dot shift um then we can do dot to lower case uh just like that all right so now what we can do is we can make a comment here we can call this message array um and in here we can do const message array equals message dot content dot split um we can put a space there semicolon actually i take that back uh delete delete the argument from up here just put args there uh, we can remove the space because we're actually going to put argument down here. So we can do argument equals message array dot slice and then one. All right. So now we can do const cmd equals message message array zero. So some of these we're never going to use. Others we use every single time. Um, but that's fine. So now we can actually put a bunch of spaces here because this is where we're going to have our commands. So we can call this commands um, and then we can call another one test command. Remember, use comments in your code because that allows you to uh, know what your code is. Because if you don't know what your code is, then you might have a pretty difficult time actually running the code and troubleshooting the code. So I always use comments. Uh, but yeah, so now we're going to actually create the command. It's really easy to do, especially for prefix commands. All you're going to do is if command equals 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 test, then we're going to do message.channel.send. You can do bot is working. You can put whatever you want in here. Um, I'm going to do bot is working. And then we can actually restart the bot by opening up a new terminal and doing node space dot. Once we've done that, we can actually open up the server right here, and we can do, uh, I think the prefix is that, it's just test. Um, and as you can see, it says the bot is working. Um, now you can customize this uh, to whatever you want. For example, if I were to do, um, if command equals ping, I know some people use ping as a test command, we do pong. You can also put emojis, you can put links, you can put whatever you want. But I'm going to go ahead and restart the bot. We can open this back up. Ping. And then it does Pong, as you can see. Uh, so that's how you code your Discord.js version 14 uh, bot. If this worked for you, leave a like and subscribe. If not, you can join the Discord Coding Lounge. As you can see, we have a lot of help channels here. Um, we have a really, really efficient bot uh, that allows us to help you as well. There's a lot of people in here as well. So, um, yeah, we also got really good mods and all that stuff. So, uh Thanks to Zachary, by the way, he was the one who helped me convert the prefix bot from version 13 to version 14, so uh, thank you, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.